Hey, Dr. Wang, how are you? Hi, are you, Dr. Hao? Welcome to New York. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. So, Dr. Steve Wang, I was so eager to meet with him, and I'm glad uh, finally we were able to meet. Uh, Dr. Wang, he has been contributing this medical regenerative treatments, which is basically focusing on human body for underlying issue of the major chronic diseases. So he has a lot of services. I'm so much amazed for his contribution for the New Yorker. So today um, we'll discuss what are the key treatments he has been providing in this Brooklyn Medical Spa Center. So Dr. Wang, uh, what are the services do you have so far in here? That's a great question, uh, Dr. Haku. We have so many services that we provide here. Uh, just briefly, uh, first we have in our medical clinic, uh, we have uh, cosmetic uh, uh, medicine. But in addition to that, we have services like IV therapy for boosting uh, your immune system, treating some inflammatory diseases, uh, chelation therapy if, uh, for circulation, coronary artery disease, hair loss, uh, uh, things of that nature. Plus, we also do that is very unique uh, in the Brooklyn, uh, New York area is um, ozone therapy. So we're one of the uh, few uh, centers in the New York, if not in Brooklyn, that performs this ozone therapy. So you heard Dr. Wang say that um, they have a liver chelation and liver boost up, liver unclog, liver um, therapy. He also has immune boosting. Uh, therapy which um, also working with the lowering inflammation in the body. So Dr. Wong, we know that um, most of the disease coming from the inflammation. Correct. If you look at the heart disease coming from the heart inflammation, if you look at the um, you know type 1 diabetes, it's a, a pancreatic inflammation. If you think about the uh, autism or you know schizophrenia or major uh, brain issues coming from brain inflammation, if you think about uh, someone having IBD, Crohn disease, ulcerative colitis, we know that it's all about inflammatory um, condition in the gut and colon mm -hmm. and the you know intestines areas. So we just need to support our body with the inflammation, and body works fine, right? Correct. How does how does that work in your center? What you see the patients? How that helps uh, uh, recovering? for the chronic diseases mm -hmm. and with the treatments. Right, so now that um, uh, inf inflammation is the big uh, issue, um, that uh, we right now, if you talk, go to a regular doctor, like your regular uh, primary care doctor, they would give you medicine to try to uh, calm down the um, inflammation. But that's, uh, that's the medicine that they use is very uh, severe right. uh, and has a lot of side effects. Uh, we collaborate with you and at our clinic here, we do this in a natural homeopathic way. So uh, we use like uh, these IVs that have uh, multiple vitamins, vitamins and supplements and uh, minerals and uh, pro-hormones, et cetera, et cetera. But none of the uh, major uh, uh, medicines that your primary care doctors, usually they put steroids and the steroids, they suppress or they calm down the immune system, but at a cost of other side effects like uh, acne or weight gain, causing other medical conditions like diabetes. You use too, use too much steroids, you get other conditions. So uh, we do this uh, naturally with the IV therapy. Dr. Wang, um, you're a medical doctor. Um, so is it that you are against of medicine? You don't like medicine, that's why you're doing this uh, uh, immune system support, liver therapy, and uh, inflammatory condition support? Or don't you like the medicine? No, I, I like medicine. It, this is a, a separate component. This is what they call complementary. It's in addition to. I mean, I will go both ways uh, with allopathic medicine and the homeopathic, naturopathic medicine. But I prefer doing things the more natural way. Let your own body heal itself, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it will take care of itself. So that means someone taking um, suppose metformin for the diabetes, someone having uh, you know aspirin, they can continue that while we taking care of our underlying issue of the body. Exactly. So supporting the body 
that doesn't affect the medicine they're taking from their primary care or specialist. Right? Uh, not not directly because once uh, we get uh, the control under naturally the root cause of the problem, then they may even uh, wean down, wean off of some of the other medications. Okay, okay. So when the patient should know that they can uh, or how long it takes to wean off the conventional medicine, should they stop by themselves or they should go to the doctor to check and then stop medicine? Uh, right. Uh, it's very advisable that you should do this not by yourself. You should do this under the direction of your primary care uh, doctor. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So who are taking medicine, they can continue medicine. They're taking support from these natural uh, to support an underlying issue of the body, mm -hmm. boost up immune system, improve your liver function, and then lower the inflammation, put load their vitamins and minerals back to the body, and then then they can talk to the doctor, hey, look at marker, look it, at where I'm at. Exactly, that's the uh, program, that's the uh, how we want to try to wean you off on the uh, medicines while naturally boost your uh, own uh, defense systems and uh, make you healthier that way. So what I understand that the service you're doing as an MD, as a medical doctor, uh, that actually helping patient or helping even doctors, specialized doctor, who's trying to improve their conditions by your support, they can improve their condition easily. They can give lower, they can they can lower the medications they're taking. Correct. 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 Okay. So, Doctor Wang, let's talk about the therapy that we have. Uh, primarily, immune system. A lot of people struggling immune system because of um, uh, COVID hit, people post-COVID complications and uh, we see that people are uh, getting a lot of um, uh, the lumps and bumps and tumors and lipoma so much about the immune system is under working. Mm -hmm. A lot of people we saw that uh, they are you know, thyroid under working. I see that we have a lot of you know, glandular swollen, you know, they have a, all of a sudden doctors said, okay, your thymus gland is not working. Uh, so immune system is suppressed and or, or not even working. A lot of, of times people are developing a lot of infections because immune system cannot handle so many infection load, if so many so many virus and bacteria and pathogenic load. In that case, which therapy you have and what you have in the component that helps immune system to boost up so that they can get rid of the infection? Mm -hmm. uh, what you have for the immune system so they can uh, improve their body? The body can start cleansing the lumps and bumps and lipomas. I had a lot of success in my clinic. I saw yesterday the patient is crying. She got so many tumors in the body. She's showing that look at the look, look at that look at that exactly on her gone. How come she 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 cried three times. First time she cried when she found me on the Zoom meeting. Second time she smiled. Doctor Hawk is one month everything is gone. And third time she came she again crying again. I said why are you crying? Talk. She said Doctor Hawk I can't believe it. I got my life back. I never thought that I will survive until today mm -hmm. because I'm almost dead. So what did I do? I support the immune system. I support their liver to function better. To detox. I, I, I clean their body. Exactly. And I, what I did, I do, I do a lot of inflammation. I support their organ-based gland medicines. It's a natural medicine mm -hmm. and IV therapy that you do, organ therapy that you do. So how, what do you do for the patient who has compromised immune system? I mean, you could have, couldn't have uh, explained it better than that, uh, Dr. Hock. Uh, basically, is because everything is suppressed and overtaxed your immune system. So, uh, remember, um, all these uh, infections or all these problems come about because your immune system is down. Its uh, defenses are low, so therefore, everything attacks your body. It's going to now uh, manifest itself. So, to give the uh, uh, substrates or the give back the so-called uh, the uh, elements that will help uh, boost your immune system. Uh, that's why we have the IV because that's the fastest. That's I mean, uh, what are supplements? Supplement. supplements is just as good, but you remember it goes through the digestion process. Now, if you have a digestive issue, it's going to uh, reduce the absorption of it. Right, so you could still take those uh, supplements by mouth uh, knowing that it's not going to be like 100% efficient, it's more efficient we put uh, the IV therapy. Exactly. 100% to the system, right? Yes. Generate to pass to digestion, intestine, absorption, and then liver or everything goes straight to the bloodstream. Exactly. That's and the life of the body, right? Exactly. And so that's why 
um, you know, while we're cleansing and detoxifying the, uh, the liver and the, and the gut, uh, you know, you'll be getting 100% uh, efficiency of the absorption Observe, of the uh, uh, of these materials. Uh, a lot of people struggle with the liver, like they're taking so many medicine. There, so kidney, EGF are getting lower day by day, and uh, the liver, uh, fatty liver, and liver get a lot of time liver tumor. Mm -hmm. A lot of time get oh, they can control their weight and. And it's been too much medicine for years after years, you know, how did it affect in the liver and what do you do for them? Right. Uh, so with um, also IV support with detoxifying the liver because the liver is the organ that uh, everything gets uh, degraded. We also, you know, through either through us or through your clinic, uh, Dr. Hawk, that you also talk about diet and exercise because diet, we have the fatty liver, the fat is like uh, covering up the uh, uh, the liver and the only way to get rid of that is to diet and exercise. So that's one component as well as the IV therapy. IV therapy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, we don't talk each therapy, we don't talk the last thing. Let's talk about uh, metabolic support. Everyone has a digestion problem. Everyone wants to improve their metabolism, right? Yes. Who, doesn't, who doesn't need that help? Exactly. Everyone. Exactly. So, uh, uh, what do you do for them and how important it is to do the IV therapy? Right. Uh, just as a precursor for all these uh, treatments, you should get uh, a blood test uh, just to uh, check uh, if you're anemic, if your thyroid function is okay, if your liver function okay, and then we could tailor your needs and help support uh, uh, your condition. So uh, before we even all start on this IV uh, therapy, we would consider doing blood tests to see where you're deficient or uh, excessive, and we try to bring you back to balance, that's the whole key. Right. So um, if your thyroid is uh, under balance, we would supplement that either through pills or IV and whatever is uh, deficient, like I said, we'll supplement uh, through the uh, whole IV system. Awesome. Dr. Wong, uh, for the blood test, uh, blood draw, uh, do you order patients to go to the lab or can do in here or you just or the labs, how do you do? Uh, it could function? be both both ways. Uh, uh, we would have uh, uh, order the labs here uh, based on uh, on your uh, direction of what test you want to order. Uh, and uh, Or they could go to their primary care doctor to order that. I would, we would just uh, advise that you know you would bring in a copy and we could go over what the so-called interpret your uh, blood test results for you. So Dr. Steve Wong, um, you know that Ozone therapy, this is the one of the oldest therapy. Yes. There is no other therapy in the world history, in the human history, have so many publications published, so many books written, only one single therapy. So many clinics, more than seven thousand clinics in the around the world using ozone therapy as a major treatment for the helping patient to, to improve the body energy to lower the inflammation to support the liver over the into the body electronic circuit to to for their you know brain inflammation for their overall well-being and then uh, the underlying root causes when someone have a low absorption someone have a um, low immune system even someone have, like it's have a, like more than it's a miraculous 100, treatment hundred thousand benefit yes and I was when I read the article I got amazed that government and the world the health organization should make it mandatory. Every clinic has to use ozone therapy as a primary treatment. So, last few decades uh, we forgot about that. Now it's coming back. In US, more than six hundred medical clinic have been administering this ozone therapy. Mm -hmm. So, tell about ozone therapy. How you doing and what level and how patient getting benefited from that? Ozone therapy is a. Uh well-documented uh, uh, treatment. It's uh, just for all purposes. It, it is uh, legal in the state of New York. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, how ozone therapy is, it's basically oxygen, the oxygen that we breathe. Right. And so well, we need oxygen to live. Uh, ozone is where there's an extra uh, so-called uh, uh, electron and it makes the oxygen molecule a bit stable. Exactly, very active. and what this does that's why ozone therapy has been shown 
uh, to kill a lot of uh, infections. Infections. Uh, exactly. Um, so that's why it's very useful for that. Uh, also uh, as a detoxifier, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the circulation and brain. And it, it would travel as because oxygen, we need oxygen to uh, live. And you know, the oxygen travels throughout the whole body. This ozone, when it is traveling throughout the whole body, it's killing and detoxifying at the, at the same time. So is there any patient you are skeptical not to administer ozone? No, not at all. Uh, ozone therapy is for everyone. Even a lot of people got oh, you have a cancer, you can do ozone therapy. Hey, you need it. Yes, that's, so, the, that's the reason why the person possibly have gotten cancer because... Uh, no, uh, cleanse the system. Exactly, to cleanse the system. Yeah. Um, even a lot of time, uh, patients are young age, they so say, oh, you're too young for ozone therapy. It's like a healing, it's not a something you... Non it's, it's a completely non-invasive, you know? It, and I saw him MD, even administer two five years old uh, patients. Oh yes, we, we we've done it on uh, children. You know, you could do it when if you have a disease, but mm. also you want to prevent disease, so you could get it as a prophylactic, uh, mm. uh, therapeutic, uh, you know, healing measure. Mm. You don't have to have a disease before you, you get it. Right. I do to get it. Yeah, you know, you want to prevent it. I can travel all the world that way. I travel and go to the cities without treatment. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. I cannot get energy that way. And what energy I need, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's that's really miraculous for everyone, and um, hopefully it will be more um, available for everyone. Yeah, it's it's good for everybody. For everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, everyone. So you heard from Doctor Wang. Hopefully you guys understand how important, as a medical point of view, Doctor uh, Steve Wang, he explained for the someone who is struggling with the immune system, underworking liver, energy deficiency. By intoxicated, yeah, each year getting down and down every day. Someone have a lot of inflammation in the body, metabolic issue. Someone have a lot of inflammation. Someone could sleep, insomnia, hair loss. It's like a, everything, everything for the body. Anything problem, you have underlying issue. Who can fix the body to, to eliminate the underlying issue? It's for the whole body treatment. It's not for the cancer treatment. It's not for the diabetes treatment or a heart loss treatment. Is, is supporting the body so you can you can slowly slowly body can have a natural bypass you slowly slowly so you can get rid of the infection and inflammation so you can screw off the cancer you can you can you can get rid of cancer cell from the body so it's an overall support Dr. Wang is doing in Brooklyn area and I have a few thousand patients in New York I'm telling everyone come to Dr. Wang Center it's amazing and then we're gonna take care of you we we'll take care need? of you. Our staff will take care of uh, um, in a collaborative manner and basically is to get you healthy again. That's exactly it. So, uh, you'll get back in health and stay healthy. Um, and we'll see you again, okay? Thank you. Bye bye. I'm feeling awesome. Yes, I'm feeling so good. Now it's gone, completely gone. No more pain. All my body changed. I feel more energy. I sleep and I wake up really active. Before I used to sleep maybe like 10 hours and then I wo woke up and I was like uh, tired. Then I used to have too much headache all the time. When I had my periods, uh, I used to have pain in my low back. Now it's gone, completely gone, no more pain. What else? I lose some weight too, so that's nice too. Now I'm perfect. Three months later, I can't believe that. but. Also, after only just one month of being in this change, uh, I was still feeling better. So, thank you, doctor. Thank you very much. I supported her with the proper natural support and IV therapy. Uh, especially, uh, we have ozone therapy that's very powerful. And all other therapies, that works. Uh, now, thank God, I'm cancer-free. Hi, my name is Rosie Israel. I was diagnosed with stage four of non-small cell lung cancer about two years ago. A cancer that has only 5% survival. Uh, now, thank God, I'm cancer free. I truly appreciate Dr. Hack that I met over a year ago. I have been consulting with him periodically and he gave me some really valuable advice on nutrition and lifestyle. It definitely contributed to my being cancer free today. I have an ameliblastoma in my jaw 
and I had been experiencing just pain constantly all day all night um, to the point where I literally couldn't sleep at mm. night in four days, four days I had no pain <gasps> Ooh, no four pain. days no pain no pain after going through pain all day going to work no pain no pain, pain medica- no pain medication no pain medication nothing. wow just wonderful no pain thank and you so much no, for sharing that you. <laughs> of course you followed my mm-hmm. diet guideline mm-hmm. you took my medicine yes and you taking the ozone therapy mm-hmm. so she has been taking ozone therapy following the supplement guidelines schedule and diet modification mm-hmm. so ozone therapy what does it does it goes to the body immune system and when body say makes enough immune cell it go and kill unwanted things in the body and the pain comes from lot of inflammation and ozone therapy can easily lower the inflammation that was just one treatment. only one treatment you started feeling like one pass you able to sleep you able to feel who you are yourself the health issues specifically were uh, gi issues bloating and discomfort hiatal hernia I wasn't sleeping. I was getting up in the middle of the night, restless, mm-hmm. urinating a lot. Mm-hmm. I was depressed. I didn't have any energy. So I had a bunch of issues and some pain, general mm-hmm. pain overall. Mm-hmm. And how are you feeling right now? Fabulous. I sleep better. I I lost 10 pounds. I don't have any bloating or discomfort. Mm-hmm. I'm happy. I'm not depressed. I'm not sad. So taking all the supplements mm-hmm. and you're taking the our nutritional IV therapies mm-hmm. and oh, those wonderful. make a big difference yes, that's big wonderful. difference I feel my first treatment um, I had actually stayed awake the night before from pain that I was having and that night I didn't have any pain wow. and I slept and wow. I felt relaxed like after a good massage you just I didn't realize how much stress I was holding in my body until mm-hmm. I had that first treatment and then it was like I just got to you know when you take a dip, big deep breath and then you, you let it out and it just feels so good. That was just one treatment. Only one treatment you started feeling like one pass. you able to sleep, you able to feel who you are yourself. And uh, my blood pressure is now completely normal. Well originally when I first saw you at a protein spillage amount uh, about 3800, 3400, it's extremely high. Um, and the kidney doctor at the time I was seeing, the nephrologist seeing at the time, uh, he had speculated that I might possibly need a transplant within four to five years. Um, and then, of course, my blood pressure was extremely high. It's 158 of 93. It's extremely high. And uh, so, of course, we saw you, and we explained the situation to you. And you told me, don't worry. It's not going to happen. We can fix that. You don't need a transplant. It's going to be fine. So... I've been seeing you for about six months now, and uh, my blood pressure is now completely normal. So the latest, uh, last two labs we had, my uh, protein spillage in my kidneys is now under 1,000. I think it's 857, I think now. How was your uh, protein level before? 30, the last lab we did was 3,800, and uh, before that lab, the la- I think the highest level was at 2,900. When you came first time about a month and a half ago, you had a continuous bleeding th- from that period, yes. and you is never stopping mm-hmm. and you are so concerned about your life nothing can stop it and you had other hormone imbalance issues mm-hmm. how are you doing right now well i'm doing much better now um the bleeding has stopped and i went back to a regular cycle last week it began on monday ended on friday and taking your advice i feel a bit better i feel less forgetful so I incorporated the vegan diet like you recommended. I started eating more tofu, incorporating some greens into Great. my diet as well. I also started taking walks, and I've been taking the supplements. I've been feeling better and okay. going to sleep at a more consistent time. I have been completely good in the body. So I had numerous health issues like blood pressure. I had insomnia, like I couldn't sleep. And I had a, what's the call, the pain on the liver side. Yeah, it, liver side is yeah. actually uh, gallbladder pain. Oh, mm-hmm. Look, you know that, that doctor term mm-hmm. is the gallbladder. And then constipation. So that's the numerous health issues. Yeah, I have completely good in the body. We do like that um, food supplement. We have a nutritional IV therapies. We do ozone therapy. Mm-hmm. And then we try to help people. And thank you for following that. That's actually your credit.